Need some fast, cheap, reliable muck coins? Go to MMOXP.com and use discount code MONEYSHOT for 5% off your order. Link in the description below. Welcome back, YouTubers and Madden fans. This is Mad Money Shot sniffing out the Mad Cheese as always. Got another tip video for you today, another defensive tip video. In today's video, I'm going to be going over some defensive tips. More importantly, ways to read your offensive opponent. In this video, I'm going to go over seven indicators that you can do pre-snap so you can pretty much get a better idea of what your opponent's going to be doing on that particular play. If you want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comment section as always, or hit the like button and I'll do that. Other than that, let's go and let's get right into this video. So starting off first play of the game, I have no idea what my opponent likes to do, but I can read these indicators to find out. So number one, the more wide receivers are on the field, the more likely your opponent is to pass. So I wait to see he's in a two tight end, two running back set, which typically indicates somebody who's going to run the ball. That plus 90% of people in Madden this year are pretty much run first players. Number two, however, means the exact opposite. Where's the quarterback on the field? When the quarterback's under center, people are more likely to run, and the further back they are from center, the more likely they are to pass. And the reasoning for that's simple. The further you are away from the from the center, the less running options you have. So on this particular play, he has less options than a normal under center run formation. So the next tip is what side has the most receivers? If it's going to be a pass play, the side with the most receivers is where it's most likely the ball is going to go. So on this particular play, I have three possible candidates. Candidates. Even though they're two tight ends and a fullback, I still have three wide receivers on the right side as opposed to one on the left. So that's where my user is going to be. So I'm going to use that side. The fourth tip would be which side is the open side of the field. Uh, but on this particular play, there really is no open side of the field based off of the fact that it's the first play of the game. He, he didn't return the kickoff. So he's right dead in the center. So that's not an indicator. So you really have three indicators, two of which are leaning towards pass. One is leaning towards run. The next indicator is important whether it's a pass or a run. Run, and that's know the weakness of your defense. The weakness of this particular defense that I'm going to be running right now, since I'm pretty much running a man blitz, is going to be uh, breaking routes inside or out. On the very next play, he's running what looks like a flat route right in front of me. So that's not going to beat man, at least not for much. But the breaking tight end above him can be a pretty big problem for my man coverage. Breaking routes, corner routes, post routes, all that can beat man. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm gonna take off sprint right back to the outside and I almost get a pick on the very first play which like I said I mean considering I know nothing about this opponent this is the first play that he's run this is a pretty good read I mean this is this is the most you can expect to be able to get your hands on a football in the very first play when you're playing somebody you have no idea what they nope. have to do and like I said it's a very simple system that got me here there's about five or six questions that you can ask yourself before every play to the point where you can basically give yourself a much improved odds and a higher percentage of guessing what your opponent's play is going to be here's another game uh very first play once again different game mode i'm going to draft champions but the the questions are going to be the same from the very start of the game very first play the second i see my opponent's offensive formation i can answer the two big questions which is one how many receivers does he have he's only got one so he's most likely going to run the ball here number two where's the quarterback i can see it's an eye form tight so i know he's going to be under center which once again this is not a formation a lot of people like to pass out of based off of the fact that you can either get sacked a lot faster or people just don't have a lot of plays dialed up for that and then you know i'm going to go ahead since like i said all the indicators are going to be towards the run play i'm going to pick one of my better run formations a run defense that i put out not too long ago uh, and then i ask myself the same questions once again what side has the most receiving options now on this play it's pretty even you know what i mean that, that I, there's a receiver on the right side but one thing that you cannot question is what size the open side of the field it's pretty obvious the open side of the field is on the right side then i have to know what beats my defense so you know once again, like I said, inside routes, outside routes, corner routes, post routes, uh, stuff like that, drag routes, those are all going to beat man. I got to be on the spot for them. I go through my reads perfectly, and sure enough, he's hitting me with a run play, which, like I said, that's to be expected based off of the indicators that I went over. I just don't take the best angle. He gets outside. I might have underestimated his back. He just slightly gets outside. No big deal. Uh, very next play, I can't choose the same defense twice. This game mode uh, was doing that at the time that I recorded this. He chooses the same offensive formation, though, which brings me to you know point number six look for repetitive behavior if somebody's running the same formation the same plays same anything it's a good indicator for what they're going to do in the future so here second and five so going through my reads again quickly we already know i mean he's in the same formation we already know there's only one receiver on the field so that's very unlikely to be a passing play he's also on the short side of the field which makes it even less likely uh the quarterback's under center which is another indicator of a pass play and even though we have a plus one as far as you know the receiver we have one receiver on the right 
right, no receiver on the left. I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to going to go with the fact that the open side of the field is a bigger indicator here, based off of the fact that there's just so much more space. People don't typically run passing plays to the short side. And then last but not least, if my opponent knows I'm in a cover one, cover one are pretty weak pass defenses in this game, so I can imagine that he would try to throw into that. So on the next play, second and five, uh, we get a little pressure. I mean, I cover the the I cover the slant, I cover the 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 open side of the field, all the stuff that I have to do, but we get a sack, so I didn't really have to do too much after that. Which brings me to my next indicator, which is the situation. It's a third and eleven. Uh, your opponent's behind the sticks. It's pretty obvious that they're going to pass the ball, so I don't have to really pay too much attention to the personnel but there are more receivers on the field this time three at the line two running backs in the backfield which are essentially upgrades as receivers and then where's the quarterback like i said people pass out of shotgun people pass out of formations that are away from being behind center more often than anything else now we do have three wide receivers on one side and two to the left so we have a plus one on the right but ultimately you know the way that i'm going to set this play up i pretty much have an idea that the most important thing is where the weakness of my defense is the second i bring this safety down that becomes the weakness of my defense, and most opponents are going to try to exploit that. So based off of the fact that I just created a pretty big weakness, so I have to be aware of that and play that. It's either going to be a slant or a post route that goes right over the middle of my defense, so that has to be priority number one. And I'm kind of expecting that because considering this is a pretty repetitive formation that a lot of people use online, I know that there's a lot of people that run that exact play, and that's exactly what my opponent does here. When it comes to being repetitive, it's more than just the plays that you personally run. If you're running plays that are popular people are going to pick up on them quicker like i did on my opponent here not to mention you know there's a lot of different ways to be repetitive you can be repetitive by constantly throwing to the same levels if you're throwing you know deep over the middle a lot people are going to start to you know i know personally i'm going to start working my defense to deep middle if people are throwing to the outside a lot they're throwing to the flats a lot you have to be watching to see where your opponent's repetitive if they're running a lot of stretch plays you got to see that stretch play come if they're running a lot of inside zones you have to you know orchestrate your defense to that everybody will become repetitive at something at some point in the game you just have to be you know paying attention and critical situations like third and fourth down are probably the easiest ways to figure gotcha, out what bitch. they like to do so i get the interception there we're going to go we're going to move on to the very next possession from the same opponent he gets the ball back pretty quick um, and once again he's only run three plays this is the first play of his next drive he catches me in the wrong defense but he's tipping his hand pretty easily right off the bat i mean he's got more receivers that's pretty obvious he's in a shotgun the quarterback's in a shotgun so you know everything's obvious a pass here he's not going to run the ball a qb sneak or something like that now one side of the field has more receivers he has a plus one on the right side there's no open side of the field but i know that there's more receivers on the right so i have to follow that and you can see right off the bat he takes a little bit more time to see this open receiver than he should and that's based off the fact that he's looking at the three wide receiver side just like i was saying by the time he turns his head and looks to the left i already followed a receiver over there and got an easy pick gotcha, uh, but like i said if he was watching the short side of the field he would have saw that right away people watch the open side of the field they watch the side that has more receivers that's where the play typically takes place so just being there is a huge advantage and then the last tip is going to be a tendency breaker that's predictable situations if you're down a couple scores like my opponent is here uh it's you know second half i mean you can pretty much throw away a lot of these things because you know they're going to have to pass they're going to have to try to score quick here my opponent's in a two tight end set which if it was a close ball game i would buy that he's probably going to be running the ball but based off of the score and the situation it's not going to happen and i almost nope. get another pick we're pretty much guaranteeing that we know exactly where our opponent's going to run based off of the situation so a situation a lot of times can dictate late in games, so be aware of that as well. If your opponent needs to score, a lot of these things can go out the window. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more videos like this, let me know in the comments section with the like button. I'll do that next. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my bids and more. Link in the description below.